The final video does introduce you to GradeKeeper, a computerized method of recording and computing your grades for all of your classes. It has helped me tremendously during the last two years as a teacher, and I hope it will do the same for you. Open the web browser. In the Google search bar, type GradeKeeper. If you choose to um, just go straight to the website, you can do that. That's gradekeeper.com. Um, and you'll be sent to this website. Um, I will click on the hyperlink. Version 6.4 is now available. Okay, so once we get there, scroll down to where it says download Gradekeeper for Windows or gra um, download Keeper <coughs> Gradekeeper for Mac. I'm going to pick Windows. And I'm going to do save because we want to keep that on your computer. Um, I'm going to put it into the desktop um, and save it. Do you want to replace it because I already have it? You're not going to have that because you don't have um, it yet. So you won't have that um, message. Um, so I'm going to put yes. Then you're going to put run. Uh, then let's run it. Okay. Um, then you're going to have to get through a bunch of windows where it says Gradekeeper Setup. And you're going to click on Next until you get to the um, installation um, in com is complete. Then you're going to have to restart your computer. So I'm going to abort it right here. You're not going to get that. I'm going to abort it because I have it already. And I want to bring you through Gradekeeper itself. And I won't be able to do that if I have to restart my computer. Okay, so let's go here. Let's pretend we just up, uh, restarted our computers. We have Gradekeeper now. It says Gradekeeper is not free, so you're going to practice um, with it right now and see if you like it. So let's do pay later. Um, okay, the first thing I like to do is title the grade, grade book. So that's when you're going to go here to the left corner, put your school, put your subject that you teach. Um, you can put your period as well if you teach multiple periods and then the name of the teacher. So this way, if you end up uh, mi mixing up some of those uh, flash drives, then you know that it's yours if you go into this Gradekeeper. Okay, now you need to personalize a grade uh, book. So click on Gradebook in the top bar running across the screen. That's this. Uh, then choose Gradebook Options. Uh, then go through the options until you've personalized it to fit your school's requirements and its class prof preferences. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is where it says school has um, school year has four qu quarters. You need to uh, um, find out if you have four quarters or six quarters. I have uh, six terms, so I usually go to that. Uh, then for each term, you need to get your calendar out um, for your school and make sure that these dates um, are correct because this way you can put the um, each assignment will fit correctly into the term um, otherwise they'll give you a, a message that tells you that you're doing the um, you're putting it in the wrong spot okay then you're gonna go to the categories um, it says only two here but usually you end up having more so right you put quizzes um, and maybe participation or something then you go to grading um, I like to go to the nearest whole percent um, so that it makes it a little bit more sim uh, simpler to to decide on what grade you're going to give that student. So I would put there. Then we're going to go to letter grades. I leave that the way it is. The only thing that um, no, I don't change anything. That's really it. So, but you can decide to change that depending on what you want. Then your score. Uh, this is going to be basically how do you want to denote um, if they have an excuse. I usually just go with E. A. And I for incomplete so um, those are a little bit more simple for me then attendance then um, so this is how you want to if you want to decide how to do a, um, attendance on the grade keeper you can do that as well um, and then just go back through and make sure that you've got everything that you want the other thing for categories if we can go back here to the second t uh, tab bar I'm going to go to category weights instead of total points earned other than that, I think we're all set. So let's go to OK. And here you can just put in your students' names. Um, and then here you put the assignments. All right, have fun, and I hope that it works out really well for you.